What's going on everybody? This is Justin with me, myself, and Dice. And if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. We do solo playthroughs of board games, how to play videos, and other board game related content. If you haven't already, think about hitting that subscribe button, liking the video, and sharing the video as it helps the channel grow and helps reach more people about the love of board games. Today we're going to be playing through a board game that I know many people have anticipated this year, and it is Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. In this game, we'll be building up our engine of cards and terraforming the planet of Mars to make it habitable for all humanity. So let's get down to the table and play Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. Welcome down to the table everyone where we have everything laid out for a game of Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. We're going to go through a full playthrough solo today and how to play. Now first off there are a few changes I've made to the way that the book tells you to set up the game. First of all are these little tiles here. You're supposed to place them face down. These are our ocean tiles and as the game goes by you're going to flip these over. But it is pretty fiddly and it's easy to knock these things around and when these get knocked around the cubes get knocked around and it's just it's just a little bit of a pain so the way i play both for solo and multiplayer is to make a stack of them they're shuffled up face down and then as i flip them i will start to fill this in and it just makes it a ton easier while still getting the same effect our goal in a solo game is to get our temperature all the way up to the top and to get our oxygen level all the way up to the top and all of the ocean tiles flipped over so that we have completely terraformed Mars and it is habitable to the human race. If we succeed in that, we get to calculate points and see how well we did. But this is a little harder, at least in my opinion, to terraforming Mars to do this solo. In a multiplayer game, everybody's working and everybody contributes to raising the temperature and terraforming the planet and oxygenizing the planet. But in a solo game, the challenge is trying to do it by yourself without any help from any other players. So this one, for some reason, is just a little more challenging. So I'm not really gonna worry about points, hopefully, and we're gonna play on novice difficulty because I am rusty on terraforming Mars and this will give us just a little bit more help so that I can focus on teaching the game. The second change that I've made, you're supposed to take these tiles, these are the phase tiles, and you're supposed to stack them in a column here. And then whatever phases are triggered, those are flipped over while the rest are down. In a three to four player game, that's actually pretty handy. But in a solo or two player game, it's pretty pointless. However, we'll talk about this in a second, I found a different use for these so that you still can use them in solo. Now, if you've never played Terraforming Mars before, we're gonna have a hand of cards and we're gonna use these cards to build an engine that's going to help trigger moving this and this up and flipping these tiles. And we're gonna be doing that by earning mega credits, producing heat and producing plants. The difference between this and regular Terraforming Mars is this section right here. A turn in Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition is made up of five Phases. This is a me mechanism borrowed from uh, one of my favorite games, Race for the Galaxy. So think of it this way, in a turn we have the development phase first, then the construction, then the action, then the production, then the research. However, on a turn, I as a player am going to pick which of those phases I want to happen. So let's say I want to do research. I would pick one of the five phases and then another player, or in this case the dummy player, might pick a different one. So we're still going through the turn in order, but we're only gonna do construction and research. The other ones, they don't happen this turn. So we're gonna have limited opportunities each turn to do what we want to do. So we're gonna have a hand of cards here and the dummy player is gonna take the same hand of cards. They are going to shuffle these up. Okay, that's all shuffled up and this is going to represent another player flipping a card and playing a phase just like a two-player game would but it also is our timer there are five cards in this deck they're going to go through their deck five times so we have 25 turns to completely terraform the planet 
And one of the things there is since five is a magic number in this game, we can use these to mark what round it is that they've gone through their deck because something special and different happens in round five. So we'll use those and after we've gone through the deck once, we'll flip it and it's just easy to remember what round that we're in. So we've talked about the dummy deck, we've talked about the terraforming board. This is our resource management area. This is going to keep track of our production levels for the production phase and what resources we currently have. We have three types of cubes in the game. The gold are 10, the silver represent five, and the copper are singles. So wherever they are, let's say we have a copper here, that's our MCs or our mega credits, our money. But if it's down here, it's heat. If it's here, it's plants. So wherever it's placed is what it becomes. And that's how we're gonna keep up with our different levels. We have our opening hand of cards here. Let's look at those. There are three types of cards. There are blue cards, green cards, and red cards. These are all project cards, and they all have a lot of things in common. First off, they're gonna have a number up here in the left-hand corner. This is how much in mega credits that card costs to play. You're gonna have possibly some tags going down. These can be different on every card. Of course, the name, and then any abilities that the card does down here. In this case, red cards are kind of one-time action cards. These little lightning symbols down here mean that once you pay for it, it immediately these things happen. You have the blue cards, which typically either have an action on them right here, or they have an effect. I don't have one in my hand that has an effect, uh, but they'll have some sort of game changing effect for you as a player. And a lot of that will be down here. And we'll see in these boxes, there's a number and that determines what phase these activate on. So actions activate in the third phase. Then we have the green cards, and these are gonna be what helps us build our engine to produce different things. So this card, although it has another ability on it, it also produces three mega credits every time we do a production, which is phase four. Uh, here you get heat for every tag. So these tags have no inherent value, just whenever another card or ability refers to them. So for every lightning bolt we have in our tableau down here, we're going to have one heat produced. And sometimes, I surprisingly don't have any in my hand, there is another cost up here. Like it may have a prerequisite of our temperature being at a certain level before we can play that card. Or we may have to spend TR, which is this track around here. It's our terraform rating. We start at five, but sometimes we can go backwards. And every time we do a terraforming step here, we raise this up. So that's the basics of these cards. The next thing we need to do is we've dealt ourselves two corporation cards, we need to choose one. So the two that we happen to get are Teractor. This is, we have a mega credit symbol over here. That is our starting mega credits if we take this corporation. It's an earthbound uh, corporation. It's going to start us with 51 mega credits, which is a ton. And it has a special ability here for any tags, cards you play with the earth tag on it, you get a discount of three mega credits. So pretty straightforward card, very nice. Then we have interplanetary cinematics. This one starts with less credits, 46, but it gives you a production of steel. That means that any cards like so, that have this steel tag on them, we get a discount of two for every production of steel we have. So this would give us one, and this would give us a discount of two off of this 14, making it only cost 12. At the same time, if there is a tag like this on it, we get a production discount of two as well. So if we have one that has both, that would be a discount of four altogether if we produce one still. So that's pretty good. Let's look at my cards and see what I want to do. Well, right off the bat, out of the eight cards in my hand, I have five with a still tag on them. And both are, and all of these are pretty reasonably priced. 
And so that may not be a bad idea to go with the interplanetary cinematics, especially since this one gives us heat production that can ramp up because of playing more cards with the purple lightning bolt symbol. And there would be two right in my starting hand. At the same time, we also have this one. It's really expensive, but we can start looking for cards with the yellow arrow tag. So I think we're going to go with interplanetary cinematics. So we'll keep that one. And this one goes back to the box. We need to get our starting mega credits. So 46, that would be four of the tens, one five and one single. And then we need to track our steel production. It goes up to one from zero. The last thing we need to do for setup is we can mulligan cards out of our hand. And looking at what we have, I think I'm gonna mulligan three out. I'm gonna discard these three and draw three cards to replace them. Okay, so we get low ammo shields. This is nice because it has a uh, steel, per, a steel discount on it, but it requires red oxygen or higher. There, that's gonna be a while before we get to that. Uh, so we're still stuck with this in our hand. This one has steel discount, it's pretty cheap, and has a purple lightning bolt. That's really good. And then this is a production card that says when you use an action effect on one of your cards, gain one MC. So that could come in handy as well if we get a lot of action cards. So we'll keep those. And even though we have this card, it's not invaluable. It still has a good value because we can at any time, we can discard a card from our hand and gain three uh, mega credits for it. So every card has a value of three if we don't use it, if we discard it. So that's our starting hand. We get our action cards and we're ready to begin. I think the first thing I wanna do is not knowing what they're gonna play, I think I want to guarantee that I put a green card down, specifically this one right here so we can start gaining some credits. So that's my plan is to play the power grid. In order to do so, I need to make sure that I play development. We'll talk about what all of these do as we hit them, but development's gonna be each player may play one green project card. Now in a multiplayer game, when this pops up, everybody gets to do that phase. However, if you're the one that played the card, then we get a bonus, whatever the bonus is for that action. And each action has a different bonus. In this case, we pay three MC less for the card we play this phase. Now, if they play, let's say they flip production, we're gonna get to do both of those. However, if they flip a development card, then we're not going to get to do two phases this turn, only one. So I'm really hoping they do something besides development. In fact, construction would be really awesome right now. But I have no way of knowing right now, so we flip and oh, it is construction. That's great. So we start first with development. We do have to go in order, so development comes before construction, one before two, so we can play our card here. Now we do get a reduction of the cost by two here and three here. So five off of this, that means it only costs us three. And you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to discard this card. Remember, it's going to be worth three credits and that will give us three to pay for that. Now I put my production cards up here. You can sort of stack them like so. And all you need to do is be able to keep up with these little boxes down here and the tags. So that's how we're going to do that. I play Usually I play my production cards up here. I'll play my action cards kind of in this area, effect cards, wherever it makes sense to try to remember them. And then the red cards I kind of play once and leave over to the side. All right, so that's the development phase. Now once we have done the phase that we play, this cannot go back to our hand. It has to sit out a turn, so we can't do the same phase twice. But then we move on to the construction phase and we're only gonna to get to do the top part of this because we did not play this. And it says each player may play one blue card or one red card. I think the one that makes the most sense to get out is the circuit board factory. This will give us an action during phase three which is triggering actions to draw a card and card draw is always useful in this game. So this is going to cost us 14, but we do have a reduction of two, so only 12. I think I'm going to discard 
this card right here, the wood burning stoves, to get a discount of three, and then that means that it's only nine. So I will take a 10 and make change with a one coming back. That's the end of the construction phase. This goes to a discard pile and does not go back into their deck until they've gone through their deck full time. So I feel pretty good about that. That was a pretty good turn. So moving on to our next turn, I think I'm gonna go ahead and play construction because they've already played it. That means that whatever they play, I won't double up on. So we're gonna play construction and they're gonna flip their card, it's research. That works out perfectly. So construction comes first. Each player may play one blue or card or one red card and then we get the bonus. We can either draw a card or play an additional blue or red card this phase. So the card I want to play is, I only have one blue card, is the assembly lines. It has an effect that when we use an action, this has an action on it, we gain one MC. So this is going to cost us 13. We don't produce titanium, so there's no reduction there. It's 13 straight up. So we'll just go ahead and pay it. We'll pay 15 and get two back. And I'll leave this out here because that's going to remind me that when I activate things in this action row, I get a credit. And then for our bonus, I don't have any more blue or red cards, so we're just going to draw a card. Oh, look at this. Colonizer Training Camp. It requires red oxygen or lower. Well, look at that. We are below red oxygen, so this would be good. We do get a discount for the steel and for the arrow requires red oxygen or lower, but it's only two points. That's really all this does. So that may not be a great card for us to spend money on because I'm really not chasing points right now. So we'll just hold that and see how it's best used. So we can take development back into our hand and construction will move up here. Then we do research. So research says all players draw two cards and keep one. If we had played it, we would get an additional three cards and keep an additional card. So we, if we play it, we draw five, keep two. Right now we're drawing two and keeping one. We get special design. It has a tag that I like. You may play an additional blue or red card this phase. For the next card you play, you may consider the oxygen or temperature one color higher or lower. So it can manipulate the requirements for these. So if I was above red, if I was here, I could play this card and then still play this card because it uh, would count as being lower. Then we have Lightning Harvest. This has a tag I like as well. However, it's looking down here one credit per science tag. Science tags are a little harder to get, so we'll see how that comes into play. But I think out of the two, I think I'm going to keep the Lightning Harvest. Now when I played this card, I should have adjusted my accounting over here. So we look here and we just have to keep up with this one credit for every lightning symbol, purple lightning symbol we have. So we have one, so now our production goes up by one credit. So we're making bank. Well, they still haven't played their production development card yet. Um, so let's see, that's really what I want to do. So you know what? They've already played research. Let's get some more cards in our hand. Let's play research and they're gonna flip development, perfect. So development comes first, we're going to develop something. Uh, let's go ahead and do windmills. We do get a discount. We don't get the three MC discount here, but we do get a discount here of two. So this is going to cost us eight. I can discard this, so that's a reduction of three. Credit production is also two. That's development. We're gonna do research. We're gonna draw five, keep two. There's three, four, five. And I'm very interested in getting a blue card into my hand. Let's see what this one does. Effect, each titanium you have reduces the cost of titanium tags over here, the star tags, uh, an additional one MC. Okay, that's nice. And then each steel, reduces the cost. Okay, this is gonna go great for us. So this is gonna mean, this means if we can get this out, we have an ongoing effect the rest of the game that every time we see a still 
icon, it's going to give us an additional discount. So instead of it right now being a discount of two, it would become a discount of three. That I definitely want to keep. Let's see, this one requires us to have seven TR or higher, but would give us a uh, nice draw. This one will give us credits. It's pretty affordable. We get a discount. I like that one. Uh, let's see, we can raise our TR per Mars uh, step here. Um, yeah, I'm not collecting many of those, so that one's not looking great for me either. And this one requires red, oxygen, or higher. Uh, not great, although it does produce a plant. Uh, so I like I like all the cards, but I think these two are the ones I'll keep, and we're going to discard those three. These can go into my hand. We get construction back, and this goes up here. So we have two cards left. It should be action and production. So that's good to know that they're going to allow us to do some production. So let's go ahead and play another development card. And I'm actually kind of hoping this is an action. Nope, it's production. Okay, so we get a three credit discount because we played the card. Let's play Geothermal Power. It's going to cost two less, so six because of this. Actually, yeah, that's right. Six because of this. Uh, three more, so it's only going to cost three. I think I'm going to discard Lightning Harvest to save some money. So that pays for that, and this switches out with Research. And then we have production. Each player gains heat, plants, and draws cards according to their production. They also gain MC equal to their production plus TR. So let's go through that. I always go from the bottom up. I look at my plants. I don't produce any. My heat production, I didn't do this yet, so we need to bump that up to two. I produce four heat. Eight is the magic number with heat and plants. So we're halfway there. And this is another... Uh, purple symbols so we need to adjust this so we should be making three credits one two three four five so we should have gotten five so let's change that and make sure that we have that calculated correctly then we look at our MC's up here and we produce three but we also add to it our terraforming rating our TR's so we're going to get eight so we'll take two of these and we'll make a ten that's production. If we had played this card, we would get an additional four MCs. But we did not, so we're not going to. Okay, our next card, we know this is going to be an action, so I'll go ahead and flip that over. And I think I'm going to play production again, even though we just produced to help us out a little bit uh, to recover so that I can do more actions. Action comes first. Each player activates any action effect and standard action. So one step at a time. We first look at our cards and we activate all of our cards that say action. So here we have an action that says action draw a card. And if there were any other actions that I had down here, we would trigger those as well. We get Tundra Farming. Requires yellow temperature or warmer. I don't think that's going to be handy for us. And don't forget, we have this effect here that every time we trigger this little arrow, an action, we get one MC. And then if we had played this card, we would go through all of our actions, then we could activate one action an additional time. So I could have, if I had played that card, I could have activated that twice. And then we go to standard actions. And standard actions are listed down here, and we can do these as many times as we want. So 15 mega credits to flip an ocean tile, eight heat, I said eight was a magic number, eight heat to raise the temperature by one, eight plants to build a forest, which raises the oxygen by one, 14 credits to raise the temperature, and 20 to build a forest. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pay 15, and we're going to flip an ocean tile. Now the ocean tiles are usually give you some benefit. So this one is going to give us four MCs. So I'll put that there, and I usually do these up because you need to know what the last tile was in case it gets triggered again. So four MCs, we'll turn one of these in and get a five. I also want to spend my heat, so 10, I get two back because we're going to spend eight to raise the temperature by one. So we raise this by one, and anytime we do any terraforming, 
So when we flipped over that, our TR goes up by one. And when we raise that, our TR goes up by one more. So we're at seven TR, which helps us with our production of MCs. Now I could flip another ocean tile or I could raise the temperature again. Uh, flipping the ocean tile because of the bonuses would be the most useful, but I'm scared of running that low on MCs right now. So let's say that we're done with our actions and then we'll do production. So we've done this before, no plants. We hit five heat and zero card draw and we get three plus seven, so 10 MCs. Okay, production is gonna replace development up here, and we have gone through the deck one time. So we're gonna reshuffle this deck. We're gonna flip this over to signify that we're in a second round. And then playing on novice difficulty, the AI does help us a little bit. Every time we go through the deck, they're going to bump up either oxygen or temperature by two. And we get to choose which one. So I think I'm going, since I don't have a plant production going right now, one, two on oxygen. So looking at my cards, the thing that I probably need, I mean, I would love to play one of these two down uh, in case they flip production, but um, I'm thinking about what am I okay with that I need to do, and I'm okay with them flipping the same card. Uh, I think that's gonna be research. So let's put research down because I do need some more cards. And we'll flip theirs and it is research. Okay, so we're only gonna do one phase this turn. So we get to draw five cards, keep two, one, two, three, four, five. We have soil warming. Okay, this would be good because it produces plants and it gives us a free temperature raise one step. It's expensive, but this is one of the reasons I didn't want to spend uh, another set of credits to flip a tile. So that may be good. This one gives us uh, one credit for every world tag that we have. Well, we're not collecting those, so I don't see that being great. We do have this that will give us a plant and a heat and is less expensive. That may be good. Research Outpost, this has an effect. When you play a card, pay one MC less for it. So we get a discount. That would be good since we're not great gaining a ton. This one requires red temperature warmer. When you flip an ocean tile, gain four plants. That is a great card, but we're not to that point yet. So we'll definitely get rid of those. It's between these. Oh man. Well, my thinking is we're definitely going to discard those and this one, just may be too expensive right now. I definitely want to keep a blue card to keep uh, in case they play action. So we want to keep one of those in my hand. Uh, we always have to check at the end of the turn. We can't have more than 10 cards at the end of a turn. Usually I never get close to that. So that's going to replace production. And that's that whole turn. I think I'm going to go try to play research outpost, which means we're going to put down construction. And I'd really like them to put down development or action. Either one of those would be great. Production would be okay, um, but development or action would be great. They're gonna play a construction. Of course they are. That's okay. So we're gonna play this card. It costs six. We do get a discount of two here. So it's gonna cost us four. And I think I'm going to discard the Tundra Farming. Yeah, because we're not going to get there yet. And that's going to make it cost only one. So this is an effect. And I'm going to put it up here. When you play a card, you pay one MC less for it. So that will help me remember that when I come up here to pay, oh yeah, I get another discount. So we can play either draw a card or play an additional card. Ah, I'm tempted to draw a card, but let's go ahead and take advantage of playing another one. Let's get this advanced alloys out because it's going to give us another discount uh, with our still. So it's going to make our still an additional discount. So right now it's a discount of two, but after this card, it'll be everything we play will be a discount of three. So actually, I could have played these in reverse order and gotten a bigger discount, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll live with that mistake. So a discount of two here makes that seven. 
Uh, we're going to put this over here so I remember, I hope. So 7, I'll take it out of the 10 and make 3 change. We take the research back and construction is out. I'm running low on cards so I think I'm going to play research again because I know they won't play that and we'll take whatever they have, production. That's okay, I'm good with that. So production comes first, no plants, we get another five on the heat. We get, making sure that I haven't played any more purple tags, okay, we're good. No card draw, we get three plus seven here, so that's another ten here. And you know what, this card should have cost one less because of that, so even though I did that, it didn't trigger my memory, even though I just played it. So we'll give ourselves one back for that, for this one. All right, that's production, and now we're going to draw five cards and keep two. Okay, we have trees, requires yellow temperature or warmer. We haven't gotten there yet. Okay, this requires four science tags. We haven't been investing in science tags at all, so I don't see that being very helpful right now. This will produce three heat. It's cost of 13, but remember we have a reduction of three right now. So 10, I think we'll definitely keep that one. Here's more science tags. Ooh, effect, you play four MC less for standard actions that cost MC. So that means that down here, we get a reduction discount of four. And then we have asset liquidation. This is free. You may play an additional blue or red card this phase. Spend one TR to draw three cards. Ah, that's where the expense is. Losing one TR is pretty expensive. I think I'm going to go for this one and, disc and discard these three. And these will go into my hand and we'll flip construction back into our hand and research up here. All right, I'm gonna play construction and they are going to do action. That's okay, I'm cool with that. Construction comes first. We're gonna play this one, it costs 15. Don't really wanna discard anything. So we'll just pay the 15. Oh, but that's gonna hurt me with actions. Yeah, we'll pay the 15. So we're gonna get a discount with the actions and I'll put that down here, discount of four down here. Oh, and we get one back because, again, can't forget this research outpost card. Uh, so I, I was switching those to a five, traded in four of those for a five to get one back. Okay. So that was construction. We can either draw a card, which is what I will do because I only have green cards in my hand. Ooh. Demios down, raise the temperature three steps, gain seven MC. Now these are usually, these are expensive. We do get a discount because of that. But this is the, really, it's hard to do our end game without getting some bumps from these red cards. So that may be helpful. We'll flip research back into our hand. Construction goes up here and action. We get to take these actions. We're going to draw a card. Don't mind if I do. Vesta Shipyard. Ooh, this would produce titanium, which would give us a discount of three on any cards with the titanium tag, but we would get an extra discount because of our advanced alloys. That's great. We do get one MC for the effect here. And then we can do any standard actions down here as many times as we want with a discount. We need to turn these in for heat. So that'll give us two back. That's gonna raise our temperature by one. Bring that up to eight. I think I'm going to go ahead and spend 11. It only costs 11 MCs. So it doesn't discount the amount of plants or heat, just the MCs. So a discount of four to the 15 is 11, and I get to flip an ocean tile. And the reason I like doing these early in the game is because they give you a benefit. So I get one plant and two MCs. When I'm struggling for cash, that is very helpful. One plant and two MCs. We also bump this up to nine, 
and then I can't afford to do anything else, so that's going to be the extent of our actions. Okay, they flipped last card because we know it's development, and I think I need to do some production. So we're going to play production. So I'm really torn between these two cards. One, because they both cost the same. This will take my heat production up. They both get the same discount. This produces three MCs, which I am hard up for MCs right now. But this would give me a card and gain three heat for free, and then add a production of one heat. So the immediate value of this card is great. But I think I'll do this because I'm going into production. Ah, oh, that's painful. So I get a discount of not two, but three because of advanced alloys plus a discount because of research outposts. So even though I'm not getting this bonus, I'm still getting a four credit discount. So six is all it's gonna cost us, and I think I'll just pay it. We need to move this up by three, one, two, three. So we are now bringing in six production of credits. This can go over here. Now we're gonna produce, we have no plants. We have a five in heat. So there's the eight we're gonna need. No card draw, we get six plus nine. So that should be 15, and that feels pretty good. Then we're gonna gain four MCs for our bonus, which is a, I'll trade a one in and get another five. Construction comes back to us, and that feels good at the end of the second round. Got some good stuff done, and I'm not broke. That's always a good, good time to check in. All right, we're gonna shuffle these up. We're gonna flip this one off. We're in round three. And I don't feel like I'm doing so hot. So I still don't have a good plant production, so we're gonna use our novice ability to bump that up twice. Again, we don't get any TR when they bump it up, but we will anytime we do. All right, going into round three, I have several development cards, and then this one that I can't afford. So I either need to do research or development, R&D. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I think, I think let's go ahead and get this one out uh, since we wanted to do that last time. And I'm just really hoping they do not do a development card come on oh construction that's cool okay so this would cost us 10 we get a three credit discount here one from our research outpost and three from our advanced alloys and steel so this only costs us three and hmm i'm thinking that i'm going to pay with the vesta shipyard as much as as much as I'd love to start doing titanium, I, I think that I can pass that one by. So we're gonna pay that. We get to draw a card in return. We get interplanetary relations. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So this one gains victory points, but effect, when you draw cards during the research phase, draw one additional card, so six instead of five, or th three instead of two, and keep one additional. So that is really handy, but it's really expensive. It does give us three more heat, so we'll take two of those, turn them in, and put another five there. And then our heat production is going to go up by one, now producing six heat. All right, that was fantastic. And now we have construction. We can play a red or a blue card. Ooh, I can't afford either of those. That kind of stinks. Well, let's do the math for this. I may be able to afford this because I have 21 here. I would get a discount of two. Uh, so we'll just say 21, 22, 23. Uh, has no steel tags. We get a discount here, so 24. 25, 26, 27. If I discard that, I could get up to 30 if I discard that card. But I would be getting rid of my plant production. Okay, I think we're going to have to. I think we're going to have to. I think we're going to have to. Okay, and technically I'm gonna get seven credits back. So let's play this as my red card. I'm gonna be broke. So I'll get seven back. We'll go ahead and do that and everything else is gone.
Raise the temperature three steps. One, two, three. That gives me three TR. One, two, three. Fantastic. And we already gained our seven MCs. And I just put these over to the side because tags may still matter. That's it for construction. That was a very expensive card for us to play at this point, but hopefully the gains are going to help us out. But we have one card in hand. So I really, really don't know what I want them to play. They can play action. That would be okay, but I wouldn't have much here to do. I think I have to play production, and I hope that they don't. So we flip the card. Action. That's okay. We'll do that. Action. We're going to get to draw a card. We gain one MC. We get greenhouses. Requires yellow temperature or warmer. We're not quite there yet. We get one MC for our effect here. And we can take any actions down here. I can take this one, definitely. Uh, so that's going to give us two back. And we can raise this up by one. Raising our TR up by one. And even with the discount, I really can't do anything here. Okay, so that's going to be the action. We're going to do production. No plants. We get six. So that's going to trade in those four. It's going to give us ten heat. No card draws. We get uh, six here. Five, six. Then we have uh, 13 TRs. So ten Take two of these and one of these and make another 10. And then we get the bonus four. So we'll take one of these and make another five. There we go. Try to keep it neat. Easy to see. Production should give us some room to wiggle. This comes back into our hand. I have two cards in my hand. I would not mind doing development. Um, ugh. But I feel like I need cards. So... Let's do research, and they're going to do research as well. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to draw five and keep, there's five, and keep two. We have media group. Oh, when you play a, an arrow, we're going to get a five credit discount. That is a great effect. So actually, we get a seven discount because of this. Woo! That's, that's fantastic. And then... Eight because of our research outpost. Wow. Man, that, that seems almost too good to pass up. Uh, let's see. This one allows us to draw four cards and discard two, and it has that, and it will be completely free. Uh, so let's see what we have here. This is a card draw. This is titanium, and this is heat. I think, out of all of these, I think that combo is fantastic. All right, that's research, so production comes back. And I think I'm going to play construction here. And what are they going to play? Production. That works perfectly. Construction comes first. I want to definitely put down this one. Uh, it's going to cost us 10 because we have our research outpost. Um, do, 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 do. I can discard greenhouses. That will bring it down to 7. So let's pay that. Get 3 back. There we go. And this is going to be an effect that anytime we play a card, I'll put it right here. Anytime we play a card with an arrow, we get a discount. That's going to be fantastic. This is discarded, the greenhouses. Then we can draw a card or play another one. Let's go ahead and play this one because it's free, and that will give us two cards instead of one. So this comes over here, and draw Four cards, discard two of them. One, two, three, four. Ooh, Soletta's a very expensive, but gives us five heat production. So these tags are animal tags, and this says requires red temperature or warmer. We're there. Uh, one VP per two animals on this card. So you would take our cubes here, and the amount of cubes here would represent, on this case, animals. So these microbes, animals, they kind of give you... Uh, Victory points and bonus abilities to build up your engine. It's a, it's a little more nuanced, a little more, a little harder. We haven't seen a lot of those cards. Um, so I'm not interested in that one at all. Not at all. Now this one would give us better card draw. So I'm definitely interested in that one. Oh, this one will give us a card draw during production. 
I think I'm more interested in this one than this one. Oh, I don't know, five heat. But another card gives us more options. So let's go with that, and we're kind of mid-game, so I need to get card draw going. Okay, so that was construction. We'll flip that out for research. And then production. So no plants. We get six heat. That's good. That's really good. Uh, then we get zero card draw. We get six. Uh, so that's going to be 10. We'll just go ahead and get a 10. Plus we get 13 more. So another 10 and three. There we go. We know the last card is going to be development, which is perfectly fine. And really my only thought is it's between production, research, or action. Um, I could do an action, spend what I have, do production next round. Or I could play one of these, produce more, do an action in the round after that. Uh, but I know... My card draw is going to be light. Let's do action right now. All right, so that's going to be our two steps. Development, we can play a green card. Let's play, let's see, we're down between those two, producing three more heat or getting a card draw. So this is going to cost us 16. This is going to cost us nine, uh, three, minus three for this. And minus one for a research outpost. Hmm. I mean, nine just seems more affordable right now. Yeah, I'd rather use this for actions. Okay, let's do this. 13. Uh, it's going to cost us nine. Uh, I don't want to discard anything necessarily. So I guess we'll take it out of this. Nine, we get a single back. This goes up here. We adjust this by three. One, two, three. We're making, we're producing nine heat. Okay, that was development. And then we have actions. We get to draw a card. We get strip mine. Requires you to spend one TR. Ooh, this is good for us. Okay, so we do get a discount with this, but it allows us to produce one titanium and two uh, steel. So that means that Remember, for every step of steel we produce, we get a discount of two, plus one for advanced alloy, alloys. So three, so that would be three, six, nine. We would get a discount for nine whenever we see this. And we'd get a discount of four anytime we saw the uh, titanium, which this has titanium, and actually this has both. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect, we're taking that. We'd get one MC for running an action, and we get to do these down here. No, we can't do any uh, forestry. We have 5, 10, 15, 16. That means we can bump this up twice. One, two, one, two. And then I can pay 10, 11 to flip an ocean. We get a card draw. And we get a plant. I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, we get sponsors. This would allow us to produce 2MC for a reasonable price. Fantastic. Let's do that again. Let's do 11 more. Flip another ocean tile. This one's going to produce two plants for us. We're slowly making it so we could spin plants. There we go. And then I could spend 11 more and do production next round. I think we do that. I think we do that. Let's go ahead and do that. We get another card draw. We'll put that one right there. You see the oceans we are producing. We get worker crews. This is going to be free. You play additional blue card this phase. The next card you play is 11 MC less. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. So that means we could get this out for free because we have a minus five, six, seven on this. And then we could get this out for free. Oh, that would be perfect. 
Okay, we played the action. We should be able to do this one more time. So that means another card draw uh, requires yellow temperature warmer. Mm. Flip an ocean tile, not bad. And we get another credit because every time we trigger an action, we would get another credit. Fantastic. Oh, that was a good turn. That felt like a good turn. Okay, so construction goes back to our hand. This goes up here. We are finished with round three. We're going to let them bump up this again by two. And we'll shuffle these up. All right, there we go. Round four of five. So that was a really good turn because not only did we get to do a good amount of ocean tile flipping, uh, we raised this by two. I mean, I don't feel like we're quite yet to end game, but I got to fill my hand back up. That was great. And I feel like we got some good combos going here. So I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do construction. I think doing getting this combo out will be very helpful. So let's play construction and they're going to do research. Oh, that's what I was actually kind of hoping they would do because then we could use this right away and draw more cards. Okay, so this costs five. We get a reduction of seven, so we're fine. We may play an additional blue or red card this phase. That's perfect. And we pay 11 MC less for it. Well, that costs 11, so that's gonna be free. I'm gonna place that up here to remember that when I draw a card, that needs to kick in. Uh, but it's only on the phase five, so only when we do research. Then I'm going to either play an additional one or draw a card. Well, I don't have enough to, uh, temperature to play that one, so we're going to draw a card. And we get Farmer's Market. Action, spend one MC to gain two plants. Oh, that could be good for us. That could be really good for us. Man, that that's great. We could trade in that just to get... Oh, yeah, this, this is good. This is good. Okay, new way to get plants. Okay, so construction is over. Let's take action back. And then research, we're going to draw three cards because this draws, during the research phase, draw one additional card. Remember, we don't get the additional down here. We draw three cards, but instead of keeping one, we keep two. Okay, so this one requires us to spend two plants, but gives us five heat. Uh, I can already tell you these are the two I'm going to keep because I'm not in interested in microbes. It's a little too late in the game to start building those up. So we're going to have fuel generators, which requires you to spend TR, but gives you uh, two heat production. We also get this would bring our heat production up to actually three because of that. And we would get a reduction of... Uh, what are we at now? We're still at three. And this card would be free. This card would be so free, except for the one TR. Mm, that could be very worth it. And then biomass requires you to spend two plants. That's a little heavy for us. Uh, we'll see. We'll see about that one. Seven cards in hand, and we move to the next turn. Well, I would really like production to pop up right now, or de or development. Um, mm have no way of it's just gonna be a shot in the dark I don't want action to come up if action comes up I can't do anything so what do I do development or production I guess let's do development and hope they do production yes oh gosh yes oh, I love when that works out it's so heartbreaking when I flip the raw the card that's the same but when it works out oh that works out Fantastic. Let's do development. We get a three credit discount. So for this one, we would have a three credit discount for here. That's nine. Uh, plus one for research outpost. That's eight. Plus three. That makes that five for the still. Five. All right. Well, I can discard six worth of cards. Uh, the Callisto Penal Mines and the Oh, well, close to Pinot Mines, we could get that pretty cheap. Uh, so five, let's go three, four, five. Okay, and now we're going to move our titanium up by one and our steel up by two. That's going to make things a lot cheaper. Wow. So we may not be banking a ton here uh, with our production of credits, but man, we are getting some major discounts. 
Speaking of production, we produce nothing on the plant side yet. We need to get on that. Uh, we produce nine uh, heat. Let's make sure I haven't changed that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine. Uh, so five. nine whoops and then we're still getting six credits here uh, plus 15 would be 21 so 21 all right that's the last free production they're going to give us this round i think let's do a research action because they've already played that and we'll just write off of whatever they do they're gonna do development that's perfectly fine all right I'm gonna play this one because one is free and two it requires me to spend a TR so that's painful TR is very is, is, is very very valuable but it does give us one of these so that's actually going to take our production up to seven so it kind of balances itself out and our heat goes up by three so we're going to put that in the 10 spot and then two more is 12 like so so you have a 10 20 and 30 right here so that's not as painful as it looks like on the surface okay so that's our development now we're going to do research which means we get to draw six cards and keep three three four five six so we have brainstorming session okay uh, so this one whenever you trigger the action you draw a card if it's a green you get one MC and then discard it if it's a red or blue then you keep the card which is as good as getting three MC or you get a good card so that one's uh, and that one's gonna be uh, four cheaper five cheaper Wow. Okay. This one, Mars University, it does have a steel tag, which means that it's going to be, uh, let's see, 369. It's only going to cost, it's going to be free because of the research outpost. When you play a science tag, including this, you may discard a card. If that card has a plant uh, tag on it, draw two cards, otherwise, draw a card. Oh, that's a good, good card. Compositing factory. Uh, let's see. Effect. Cards you discard for MC are worth an additional MC. Oh, man. That makes them four. That's fantastic. Okay. This one has a... This one has two icons to give us a discount. Raise our TR by one. Gain four plants. Uh, two animals to another card. Two micro, Three microbes. So, it's only about half the worth of this. But still, raising our TR by one and gaining four plants... That would be very good. Hmm. But Astroform, add two microbes to another card where that doesn't help us. During the production phase, this produces one plant and three heat. So we finally get getting some plant production. Hmm. But gaining four immediate plants may be better. Oh, that's tough. That's so tough. I think I'm going to go, wow, no. Hmm. This is tough. I think I'm going to go for a compositing factory. It feels weird not putting out any more greens, but. Development. I'm hoping for the best here. Construction so I can play one of these cards, uh, maybe to trigger an action. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Development. They're going to do action, ah, of course. So let's play. Let's play this one. It's going to give us a two credit bump up to nine. And it's going to cost us, uh, let's see. Five, we get a discount of one, so four. 
discount of three. So we only have to pay one for it. So let's pay one. Let's see, that's development. That's gonna come up here. We get research back and action. We get to draw a card. We get lake minerals, requires yellow temperature higher. Not quite there, but flip two ocean tiles. Nice discount on that. That may be one we want to keep. We're very close. We do get one MC for triggering that action. And we get to do any of these. So the first thing I want to do is five, six, seven, eight. Raise our temperature up, and that greens our TR back up to 15. Let's pay 11 to flip another ocean tile. It's a card draw. Zeppelins. Requires red oxygen or higher. We're there. Ooh, well, uh, we haven't built a forest yet. Let's so say during the production phase, this produces one MC per forest you have. So whenever we trade in plants or we pay uh, 20, uh, we gain a, a forest token kind of somewhere, let's say down here, and we collect these to represent how many forests we have done. We haven't done any. That stinks. So that may not be very helpful for us. Uh, might as well spend 11 more, flip another tile. Okay, we get two more plants. Uh, four, five, six. Oh, we're creeping up there, creeping up there. Only two more of these to flip to finish those off though. I'm not worried about those. Okay, that's it for the action phase. We know the last card is construction, which I have no money to pay for anything. Uh, so we're going to have to do production. Bring development back. Construction happens first. So what can I get with no money? Okay, I think I'm going to play this down. Effect, cards you discard for MC are worth an additional MC. Uh, we'll put that, mm, do, 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 do. put that up here to try to remember. At the very least, I could pay myself back. Uh, but we get a discount of nine for that, plus a discount of one for research outposts. So that's 10, we owe three. Well, guess what? We're gonna have to discard a card. Uh, we're gonna discard the Zeppelins we just got for three, because that hasn't kicked in yet. Uh, that will pay for that card. But that should allow us to, to work with less money, because I really wanna start working this next turn on getting on using this money for actions. That's what I really, I like to not be paying for cards and using all of this money to finish building up stuff. So that's what we're gonna do for construction. Then we have production and we are gaining nine here uh, plus 15. That would be 24 if my math is correct and often it's not. 24 plus the four MCs would be 25, 6, 7, 8. Should be 28. Okay, this goes over there. And we have finished this round. Now, something interesting happens on round five. I'm going to put these back in order. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to just stack these up here we get to choose the order in which the dummy player plays those. One, two, for our novice difficulty. I don't think we're gonna make it because I don't think I can get that much oxygen. We'll see. So thinking through my hand, I, if I can get my oxygen, or I'm sorry, if I can get my temperature up to yellow, which is only two steps, we could flip the last two ocean tiles for free and that frees up this money to be used for oxygen and heat. I'm not really worried about heat. Oh, we didn't do production, did we? We didn't do all of our production. What am I doing? Uh, so we have 12 here and no plants. Sorry, I don't know why I was thinking not to do part of it. So I could do that. That would help us a lot. Um, this farmer's market helps me convert uh, into plants, one MC for two plants. That's cheaper than 20 for a forest, or in our case, uh, 16 for a forest. So I don't feel like those are super useful in our last turn. 
but these, I mean, card draw is always useful. This requires us to spend two plants, but we'll get our heat up enough to bump this up several times. Oh, that's so tough. So I'm looking at really those three cards right there. So the question is, what order does this need to happen in so that I could play these? So I need to get my heat up first. How can I do that? Um, I could do that. I could do another production phase. That wouldn't be terrible. So what if they played production? And then I played actions. That way I could get my heat up. Let's see how that works. Uh, could, it's hard to think through all of these permeations uh, without taking forever on the last turn, but we'll just, we'll just go with gut and see how it works. Okay, so actions first. Actually, that doesn't work, does it? Do, 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 do. So let me rethink that. Because I would only be able to get, well, I might get that up twice. Okay, we'll do it, we'll do it. So actions first. We take an action, draw a card, get one, uh, MC, so we draw a card, we get ice cap melting, requires white temperature, there's no way we're getting that, yet, I mean hopefully, but not yet, flip an ocean tile, hopefully we'll have all our ocean tiles flipped by then, then because we played this we could do that again, draw another card, and let's see, farming co-ops, gain three plants, ooh, that would be, that could be a deciding factor, Discard a card in hand to gain three plants. Oh man, that's awesome. That's an awesome action. Okay, that may be better than the one credit. Okay, so we did that. We do get another MC for that. And now, that's actions. So we'll move that to there. Production, we're going... Oh, wait, we've got to do these actions, sorry. Uh, let's see. I don't need to flip any tiles. I need to spend... 8, so 10, 11, 12, 13, not enough to do this twice, so we can change that all out, we leave a 5 behind, uh, but that gets us up one more, and a TR, we don't have enough here, I could spend 9, because we get that 4 discount, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, to raise this one more time, that's great. Oh, that's so good. And I don't, when it comes to spending the MCs, I'm okay if I do that the last time I do an action, which will probably be my last turn. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I am going to discard three cards. Remember that they're four each now. So four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This will give me one back because I'm going to raise the temperature again. Might as well put those to good use. And then this goes up one more time. I feel really good about that. Okay, now let's move to production. Production, zero plants. We get 10 and 12. So now we can raise the oxygen two more times with what we have in the bank. Zero card draw. We get nine and we are at 18. So 27. 25, 6, 7. Oh, that's a nice stash to have right there. All right, that's the last time they're going to give us a production. I think we're going to play construction and we're going to let, oh, do I let them play actions or research? Let's let them play research. Okay, construction comes first. We can. Do this card now, it's going to cost us 7 less, so only 10, uh, 8 less because we have the research outpost, so 9, we're down to 9, I don't see any other discounts, so let's play this and this, that's 8, will only cost us 1. Alright, requires yellow temperature or warmer, hey look at that. Our plan worked. Flip two ocean tiles. So this will give us one plant and one MC, and this will give us one card and one MC, and that's all of that. So one card, we get breathing filters, requires yellow oxygen or higher. It's only points, so this is a card we're gonna spend for something. Put this over here, and 
let's see, we get one plant. Ah, oh, we're at seven. And that should be two MCs all together. So that pretty much paid for itself. All right, that's construction. Uh, we could draw a card or play an additional red or blue card. I tell you what, let's go ahead and play this. It's going to cost us 15. Uh, so 14 because uh, our our one, you know, this is going to work out great. 14. So there's eight right there in our hand. And that's going to cost us six of what we have left. So our hand's empty, but we gain three plants. Look at that. We have enough to do this. Yes, this is great. Two, three. Okay, so we get to do two research and we get to draw three and keep two. Last free research they're gonna give us, we have Dusty Quarry. Requires three or fewer ocean tiles. Mm, it's a little late in the game for that. That's, that would have been a really good early game. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, we can gain one plant production and this one effect. When playing a card which re with requirements, you may consider the oxygen or temperature one color higher or lower. Again, I don't think that helps us really. Would have helped us if we kept that card that required us to be in the white, but oh well. We're gonna be close. I don't think we're gonna make it, but I think we're gonna be close. So we have two cards in our hand now. Okay, let's do some actioning. And let's do development on this side. Development, we're going to produce Heather and it's going to cost us 13 because of our reduction. There's no other, um, there's no other production or discount bonuses. So 13. So I can discard this for nine. Actually, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, actually, I don't want to do that either. So let's go, let's back up a little bit. Let's not do that. We'll, we'll do development, but Ah, this gains us a plant, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna do we're gonna do development, but we're not gonna do that. So development come first. We're gonna just kindly pass on that step. We're gonna do actions instead. So we can draw a card. Anti-gravity technology. We can discard a card to gain three plants. Let's make that heather a little more effective by discarding it for three plants. So we'll take two, put five. And then, because we played this, we can activate one of these again. I think I'm going to discard another card. We gain three plants. Uh, so there's two, there's five more. All right, that works out fantastic. And then we can do any amount of these actions here. So guess what? We can bump this up twice. So 5, 10, 15, 16 bumps us up twice. One, two, one, two. Then we have 10, 15, 16 here to bump this up twice. One, two, one, two. And now we have a bunch here and this is pretty much all I'm going to use it for. So the question is, what do we bump up? Let's bump the temperature up twice. One, two, one, two. Let's spend 16. So 20. Uh, that will give us four back. One of these will be five. To bump this up. And that will give us a forest. We'll just put this out here. Oh, I think we're gonna be so close. And that's all I can do. So we'll bring construction back, put action here. Now we have to figure out what we're gonna do there. Uh, I need production this turn. For me, I think we do action. I think that's the only, I don't think construction is gonna benefit us and I don't wanna play action twice the last turn. So, um, hmm, action comes first. We can draw a card. Again, this is gonna give us two MCs, three MCs. Nope, two, cause I can't trigger it but once. Uh, so a draw card, optimal error breaking. Ooh, when you play, oh, this would have been so perfect for our thing going on here. When you play a 
Yellow Arrow gained two heat and two plants. Oh, that would be fantastic. Too late for that. Uh, so our, we did that one. We, did, we can do this one. We can discard a card. We'll discard this one and gain three plants. Okay. And then we can do our actions over here. I mean, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we could raise the temperature once. Let's go ahead and do it. It's five and five. Raise the temperature one time. Take this up. That will brave us, give us back some money. And then we do production. So we still aren't producing any plants. Oh man, 10. What are we getting? 10, 11, 12. No cards, which I wish we were. And we get 9, 29. It's going to be our last production, and then they're going to play construction, and we are going to have to play action. All right, let's see if we can math this out to be helpful. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a card. Okay. Uh, doesn't help us except for it's worth four credits. We can discard two cards for three plants. So six, seven, eight, nine. That would be just enough. So let's do that. We're gonna do this action twice. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we can do these actions. So eight here, three, five. That bumps this up by one. We have heat, it's gonna be 10. Oh, I think I'm only gonna get one out of it, 10. Brings us two back, that stinks. This goes up one, this goes up one, so close. So we need to bump this up twice and this up once. Man, uh, we should have another forest. Sorry, I probably have forgotten to give myself forests. We'll see. So to build two forests, we need 32, 25, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9. So I'm just not going to have it. Well, let's go ahead and do a 10 to take that up by 1. And then 16, 10, 15, 16 to take this up by 1. I have no cards to discard. Ah, only one away. Only one away, and it's because I didn't have plant production. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I forgot to give myself some forest, but again, I don't count victory points if I don't win anyway. So, there you have it. We tried really hard into the game, and we are one step away from a victory. So close. Uh, but again, I found this a little bit harder than regular Terraforming Mars. But that is a game of Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. Let's go back up top. And that was Terraforming Mars. And this is a really fun game. Uh, let's talk about Terraforming Mars if you've never played that first. It is very satisfying to chain these cards together. I mean, it it is just, just so much fun to build your engine. Like, I didn't get to do it this game, but to get a bunch of action cards is one of my favorite things. And then take the action and just trigger them. Bam, 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 all the way down the line. That's just really fun it's really fun to build these production cards up where you get a lot of uh, go from no income to 20 30 some income uh, near the end of the game and that's really cool and i really found it fun in this game i haven't tried this yet but uh it just so happened where i could chain together a lot of discounts i couldn't couldn't get my my credit engine going very well but but to trigger all those discounts, that, that was really satisfying. And it worked well with, with kind of what we started out with. So I think card draw is still a problem uh, that sometimes I have to be in the mood for it and I have to accept that, hey, I, I have to go into this game and deal with what I have and figure out that puzzle. And I'm not always gonna get what I want, um, but actions are very precious, uh, phases are very precious. So it's, it's, a, it's a puzzle to figure out and a new one every time. Even if you've seen all of the cards, it's a new puzzle every time. And once you get your engine going, it's really satisfying to trigger it off. 
As far as terraforming Mars, Ares Expedition goes, I'm not gonna say that it completely will kick terraforming Mars out of my collection because um, I really like some of the expansion stuff. And one of the things I really like about terraforming Mars, and I hope that I start seeing this with Ares Expedition, are on BGG people have done challenges and you can go on and try to beat those challenges uh, giving you a specific corporation and, and different starting and, and ending conditions uh, that makes that game just a little more challenging because the solo mode in that is is not that challenging after you've done it a few times at least I don't think so um, but this one is more challenging and I will say base game to base game this is going to hit the table far more regularly and it really has to do with this deck of cards right here um, the action cards uh, the the different phases picking those is one of my favorite mechanisms from one of my favorite games from race for the galaxy and it just goes really well here and and implements itself just almost perfectly i i will say it it seems like this was a a very good match for terraforming mars and i'm glad that they did that as for solo i really enjoy this because uh the solo ai is very easy to run it's just a dummy deck and it still simulates not knowing what your opponent's going to play sometimes and then sometimes you are going to know what they're going to play uh, or you have a kind of a guess or a 50 50 chance uh, as you they play different things you know what what they're likely to play and uh, it, sometimes it's great when the right card flips and sometimes it's devastating when it doesn't so you have to plan for both and I really like that a lot. Plus the 25 turn timer using that same deck for 25 turns is very efficient. It's kind of like Mage Knight. It works really, really well, really efficiently. It, it is not intrusive at all. Uh, but I do like, I will say the twist of the final round, getting to choose what your dummy player is going to play. That is, is, is just a simple, simple little twist on the AI system that they have going for the first four rounds and it works perfectly it, it is great it is it is forgiving it feels in a way uh, but also very challenging because you're you want to get your coordination down with them very very well and there's a lot going on and a lot riding on that last turn because everything's built up to that so that was terraforming mars aries expedition i really enjoy this game i would love to do some more challenging playthroughs, maybe on harder difficulties later on. If you're interested in that, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching so much. We are racing to a thousand subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please think about doing that. We have a very special playthrough and some other videos planned to celebrate a thousand subscribers when we hit it and we're getting pretty close. I'm very excited about that milestone and I wanna celebrate that with you. So if you haven't hit subscribe, if you haven't hit like, if you haven't shared the video, please think about doing that. It helps the channel out a lot and shares the love of board games with others. And if you've got time, think about checking out some of the other videos on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy gaming.